Facebook ads tracking is not what it used to be. Facebook used to report incredibly accurate data, but when Apple introduced iOS 14, we lost all the data being sent back from our websites and everyone's ads went to shit. But fortunately, Meta worked hard on developing workarounds like Convergence API, which allowed us to pass back some of that missing data to the platform and improve the performance of our ads. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up Convergence API to feed your ads with the missing data and get better results. Firstly, to understand Convergence API, we need to look at the history with Apple. When iOS 14 was first introduced a few years ago, it gave users the option to opt out of third-party tracking. Third-party tracking being tracking from platforms like Meta. This meant us as advertisers lost a lot of the data that was reported in Ads Manager and made it much more difficult to actually optimize your campaigns because you didn't know what was working and what wasn't. And at the time, Meta were trying to model that data and they just weren't very good at it yet. But even worse was the effect it was having on the machine learning of the platform. Because we all know machine learning needs data. And if you're not passing back that data because of the tracking issues, well, that machine learning is not learning and your ad performance is not getting better. So Meta introduced Convergence API. And by setting up Convergence API, you can effectively bypass the problems associated with the blocks on third-party data and send first-party data directly back from your Shopify store to the ads platform, giving you better reporting an ads manager, but most importantly, giving that machine learning the data it needs to be able to optimize your ads. Now you used to have to be tech savvy in order to set up Conversions API, but now Shopify have a very simple integration with Meta and you can easily set it up in minutes. So let's jump onto the computer now and I'm gonna show you how to set up Conversions API for Shopify. So you're gonna follow the link that I provided and you'll be brought to the events manager overview. You just wanna make sure if you have multiple ad accounts, make sure that the relevant ad account is selected in this top right hand corner. You then wanna come over to the left hand side and click on the triangle with these circles called data sources. Okay, so this is our pixel. Again, if you have multiple pixels, make sure you select the correct one. And we're gonna come into settings here to set up the conversion API settings, okay? So let's scroll down first of all to turn on advanced matching, right? Let me just highlight that. Turn on advanced matching. We want to turn this on and we wanna make sure all the data points are selected. So. Click that on if it's not already on and then come down to show customer information parameters and make sure that all of these parameters are turned on. Okay, we want to be passing back as much information as possible into our Facebook ad account, right? So that's now selected. Now we're going to come down to the conversions API section. So if you need to set up a new gateway, you can set it up here. Um, but what we're going to do is because we're using Shopify, we're going to set up through a partner integration, right? So you're gonna come down and choose a partner. You can see I already have Shopify set up, so I can't do this, but you would come in to choose a partner. You would select Shopify, and then you would follow the steps, log into your account, um, and it would give you the instructions. I'm gonna walk you through the instructions though, so you don't you don't need to, okay? So what you're gonna do is, um, yeah, you're gonna hold this step, come back and do the step once you've done the step I'm just about to show you, but you wanna get to a point where Connected Partners is showing Shopify down here, okay? So the thing you're gonna to need to do to be able to do this is you're gonna to have to come on to your Shopify store, uh, the Shopify app store specifically, and you want to look for Facebook and Instagram to find the Facebook and Instagram app. This app here with the Meta logo, you wanna install that into your Shopify store. Then we can come into Shopify. Once that's installed, you've connected your ad account or your Facebook page even. You wanna to come to apps, and you want to look for that app. So let's just type that in now, Facebook and Instagram. Here we have the Facebook and Instagram app opened up, okay? So we're want to we want to come to settings on the top left-hand side here, and that's going to allow us to change the settings of our actual app. So you can see here, my pixel is selected. That is the pixel for the specific ad account. You can see the business manager that owns that pixel, and you can see the, the actual pixel name, Sueno, right? So the thing I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you have maximum data being shared. So if you don't currently, if this doesn't currently say maximum, you can come into change and make sure that you select maximum and that you're sharing data and then just hit save, okay? So if I wanted to move it to en enhanced, I'm sharing less data, um, but that's what you do. So I want to I want to make sure that you're using maximum, right? We want to give as much data as possible back to our ad account, right? So let's come out of that. And that is you essentially set up to use the conversions API. Like I said, you just want to make sure that now this is all set up and connected, uh, you have the partner integration here from choose a partner, okay?
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want more Facebook ads tutorials for e-commerce. And until the next one, have a good week and see you soon.